gonna try to keep this video really, really short. I just wanna update you guys on two things. First is weight loss. Second thing is San Diego remembers Matthew Shepard. Um, weight loss. Okay, so last Saturday was October 1st, and it hit me that I have three months to lose as much weight as I can before January 1st. January 1st is the day that I have designated as baby making day, <laughs> so to speak. It's the day that Gary and I will officially start trying for me to get pregnant so we can start a family. And I've been stuck in a rut with my weight loss, and I needed to kick myself in the butt. And I did, because I realized I have three months. So I weighed myself on uh, Saturday, and I was 230. And I figure I want to get down to at least 200. That's 30 pounds in three months. 10 pounds a month, totally doable. I've done it before. It's going to be really hard, especially since these are holiday months. And I've got, like, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas all coming up. But I can do it, and I need to do it. And so I recommitted myself, and I um, got my head back on track. My head is back in the game. So this morning I weighed myself, and I was 224. So I've lost 6 pounds uh, in the last week. I'm going to be weighing myself every week, and I'll be here with a video every week telling you guys how I'm doing, keeping myself accountable, and um, I just want to thank you guys that have stuck around. Thanks for the support. Okay, so now San Diego remembers Matthew Shepard. Um, back in July, I volunteered at Pride, and I met some people and they invited me to their um, event planning committee and this event is coming up on October 11th, Tuesday, this Tuesday, October 11th and what it is is it's called San Diego Remembers Matthew Shepard. Now if you don't know who Matthew Shepard is, really quick, he was a 21 year old gay, I think he was a college student, he lived in Wyoming. Um, one night, I think it was October 6th, he went out to a bar, um, it was a regular bar and he was having a beer. And these two men came in, started talking with him, found out he was gay. They told him they would give him a ride home. And once he got in the car and they started driving, they told him, we're not going to take you home. They took him to the middle of a field. They tied him to a fence. They beat him. They took his shoes, his wallet, and his ID and uh, credit cards. And they left him there. And he was uh, discovered a few days later by a bicyclist who thought he was a scarecrow. He was taken to the hospital, um, unconscious, and on October 12th, 1998, he died. So he died because he was gay. These people killed him because he was gay. And they've been to court and they have admitted that's why they did it. Um, this is probably the most well-known, like at least US case, I guess, um, of a gay hate crime. Uh, it's national news. There's been movies made about it, uh, TV specials, books written about it. If you Google it, millions of things will come up. So, um, as you guys know, I'm trying to get more involved in the gay community. Uh, gay issues, gay rights have always been my fight ever since I was uh, young enough to realize that people were being discriminated against for being gay. I didn't understand. I wasn't raised that way. I don't. I still don't understand. I will never understand. Um, but it's always been my fight. That's what I call it. It's my fight. And so I'm fighting. And um, so this Tuesday we're having this event. And it's going to be uh, in memory of Matthew Shepard and other hate crime victims. But um, we're having a candlelight vigil. And if you are in San Diego, you know anybody in San Diego, you want to promote for me, please do. Uh, we're going to start at the Village Hillcrest right in front of the 24-Hour Fitness and we're going to light our candles and we're going to walk down University Avenue. We're going to walk to the um, San Diego Gay and Lesbian Community Center. It's called The Center. And there we are going to have an empowerment rally. We are going to have food, information, music, performance, and we're going to have two guest speakers. Um, we're going to have Fernanda from the Real Housewives of the OC. And we're going to have um, a man who actually knew Matthew Shepard, and he's going to come speak with us, too. So it's going to be a really awesome empowerment rally. Um, I'm really, really excited. I've been helping this group plan this uh, for a few months now, and the event is here. We're all really, really excited. And um, not just the event. I'm not just proud of the event and all the work that I've done for that, but this group of people that I've met through doing planning this event are amazing people and you know I'm somewhat new to San Diego and with my social anxiety it's been hard for me to make friends and I've made some I've met some people that didn't turn out to be so great friendship wise but this group right here is it these are 
amazing, amazing people. And every time I leave these meetings, these planning meetings, I, my heart is just full. It's just fucking full of love and positivity and, you know, just, I, I need to surround myself with people like this. You need to surround yourself with people that make your heart feel that way. Like, that is what friendship is, you know? So, anyways, that event is coming up this Tuesday, and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, go to San Diego Remembers.com. You can also search for it on um, Facebook, San Diego Remembers, or San Diego Remembers Matthew Shepard. We have two pages on there. We have an event page. So if you're in the San Diego area, please come down. I will be there. I will be all over that. Um, I'm in charge of quite a lot of stuff. So that's why I look so tired, because I've been doing so much planning and stuff for this event. And I'm so excited for it to take place. And I know, like, right now I'm planning it like it's an event. It's an event. But I know that once I'm there and it's it's going to hit me what we're really doing is we're remembering this boy who was killed just because of who he was. And I know I'm going to be a fucking mess that night, you know, because like it's not hitting me yet. It's not hitting me. It's going to hit me when I see how many people are going to be there. That's what's going on. I will update. I'll probably have another video update later or next week and I'll talk to you guys about that and update you guys on other stuff going on in my life but there's these are the two main things weight loss San Diego remembers so anyways I will talk to you guys later